My name is Son Jacob Ty. I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is on the subject of stem cells and heart failure. This video is entitled Stem Cells in Heart Failure, Hype or Hope? One of the most exciting and talked about areas in cardiology research right now is stem cell therapy for heart failure. But what is the reality behind the headlines? Is this the game changer we've been waiting for? Or are we getting ahead of the science? What is stem cell therapy? Well, let's start with the basics. Stem cells are special because they have the ability to develop into different types of cells. The idea behind stem cell therapy is this. If part of the heart has been damaged, let's say after a heart attack, could we use stem cells to regenerate or repair that damaged tissue? In theory, it sounds amazing. Imagine reversing heart damage, not just slowing progression, but actually healing the heart. Now, the heart failure happens when the heart can't pump blood effectively. It often is the result of damage to heart muscle. And right now, our treatments are aimed at managing symptoms, not repairing the damage. So stem cells offer something different, a potentially curative approach rather than just supportive care. Now, what does the evidence actually say? Over the past two decades, a number of small trials have looked at different types of stem cells, bone marrow derived cells, cardiac derived cells, mesenchymal stem cells injected directly into the heart or the bloodstream. And some studies have shown modest improvements in heart function or quality of life. Others have shown no real benefit. And unfortunately, a lot of these trials are small with inconsistent methods and short follow-up periods. So it's been very hard to draw firm conclusions. There are several big challenges, cell survival being one of them. Many of the injected cells don't survive long enough to make a difference. Integration, even if they do survive, do they actually become functioning heart muscle? Inflammatory environment, a failing heart is often a very hostile place for new cells to thrive and standardization. Different clinical trials use different cells, different doses, different delivery methods, making comparisons quite difficult. And then of course there's cost and accessibility. Right now this is still experimental and not part of routine care. Is it hype or hope? Now here's the key point. The promise of stem cell therapy is huge and research is ongoing there's still real potential here, especially with newer approaches like exosomes, gene edited stem cells, or using stem cells to stimulate repair rather than directly replacing tissue. But we're not quite there yet. And we have to be cautious because unfortunately there are clinics out there offering expensive, unproven stem cell therapies to desperate patients, often without evidence or regulation. So where do we stand? I think stem cell therapy might become a breakthrough in heart failure, but it is certainly not ready for prime time. For now, the best treatment remains early diagnosis, optimal medications, lifestyle, and in selected cases, device therapy or transplantation. But it is an area worth watching and one I think will continue to evolve over the next decade. If you've heard about stem cells for heart failure and were wondering whether it's real or just hype, the truth is it's somewhere in between. There's real science behind it, but we still need more proof before it becomes routine care. I hope you found this useful. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Many thanks.